ever been around sports, chances are you've heard or known someone who has had a torn ACL. My wife has a torn ACL, but it's not just athletes tearing their ACLs with the injury becoming more and more prevalent. Victory Sports joins Bridge Street now with more information on a special implant to fix those tears. Let's welcome in Carl Calabrese, Susan Bertrand, and Curtis Kerwaki joining us uh, here in studio. And uh, Carl, we'll start with you. So let's say you tear your ACL. What kind of treatment options are available for someone? Yeah, so in a traditional method, um, you know, reconstruction where they take a piece of your tissue and they uh, make a new ligament um, has been something that we've done for the last 30 or so years. So more recently, over the last several years, we've developed this little guy or we've started been using this little guy um, to help your body actually regrow its own ACL, which is actually pretty mind-blowing to say and to think about as possible um, at this point. So that is the bear implant? This is the bear implant, yes. So tell us what that is for people learning about yeah. it. Right so here. this little uh, marshmallow or packing peanut, uh, it looks like at least, um, is type 1 bovine collagen. So um, they use that um, in your whole blood to inje be injected into um, this piece and your body actually regrows its ACL so this acts as a scaffold for your body to kind of heal itself. So Susan and Curtis, you both have experience with this. We'll, we'll start with you, Susan. What was your experience like with the bear implant? Yeah, so I had a full tear on my ACL, and I actually had um, surgery scheduled to have the traditional method done. And then I learned about um, this procedure and Dr. Petropoli, and I decided to have it done. Canceled my other surgery, and I'm, you know, I'm over a year out, and I'm, I'm great. I'm doing, I'm doing really well. And to think you can, it's a more holistic, natural approach, being able to regrow your ACL. So I've done very well with it. And, you know, I'm continuing with all the activities I did before, so. Yeah. That's so great to hear. So Curtis, we want to hear about your experience as well, especially your, you have an MMA background. Uh, yeah, I, um, I currently um, practice martial arts. Um, I'm a yoga instructor. I um, am a personal trainer. Uh, I basically uh, go through the gambit. I spar on a weekly basis. I train constantly. I do CrossFit. I lift weights. Um, and I uh, stumbled into um, an ACL tear of about two years ago, um, preparing for a super fight in a jiu-jitsu match. I was training really hard. Um, I was uh, probably overtraining, and then um, I experienced an ACL tear, practicing and rolling in jiu-jitsu class. So I uh, basically came to almost the same results as, uh, as my friend did here. But the thing is that I really only had a grade two tear. So ripping out my whole ACL felt like a really, really um, scary proposition. I'm sitting in the office there crying and, you know, my best friend, um, he, he told me, you know, you need to get a second opinion. You could even get a bear implant. He said right then and there, he's like, there's other options, you know, for this, especially to retain uh, the ACL that you have. And Carl, what does rehab look like from the traditional uh, ACL reconstruction compared to the bear implant? Yeah, so it, I don't care if you have a reconstruction or if they're bare. If you look at the research, 9 to 12 months is that sweet spot to kind of return to the activities that you love, MMA, yoga, skiing, all those things, right? So the end result's the same. Uh, the difference is essentially the beginning's a little bit slower because your body's literally regrowing its own tissue, uh, which is mind-blowing, but in the next 10 years, I think this, amongst other kind of things that we're doing in the office, are going to be kind of the standard of care. So slower to start versus a traditional graft, you, the strength of that tissue is stronger and then it kind of weakens and then it regrows over time where this is a little bit more linear from low uh, strength to normal strength. All right. Well, uh, we're out of time, but this is uh, this is really interesting, and I'm glad that it worked for the both of you. And uh, I, I love uh, hearing this information, Carl. Again, I'm going to talk to my wife about this. Uh, I mentioned that she's kind of having some knee trouble again, so uh, we may be in touch. Uh <laughs>